Katie coming to you again with another Prize Picks NBA DFS video. Today is January 13th, and we have a six game slate on the books for today. Um, first off, I want to say thank you for the support on the channel lately. Um, we're at 4,170, 75 subscribers, something like that. So we're only 25 away from hitting 4,200. That's going to be the goal for, let's just say, the end of the month. That, that sounds good to me. Um, any support you guys can give would be much appreciated as we're on that grind and, uh, we're trying to get people the picks that'll make them some money. So make sure to hit that like, make sure to subscribe. Anyway, with that being said, let's hop into the pick to start off the day. I like Giannis over 30 and a half. I think his line actually moved down to 29 and a half. So I guess be slightly wary of that, but I just don't see anyone on Golden State being able to stop Giannis, especially in the paint. It doesn't matter who it is. I guess maybe Wiggins will be put on him. Um, but then at the same time, I think Wiggins will guard Middleton. So uh, I just don't know who on the Warriors are going to stop Giannis down low. They might just let Giannis run the paint and defend the three because Nawara and uh, Middleton will be shooting from outside. So. They might just let Giannis go crazy on the inside and think that they can beat them with their own threes. Um, then I got D'Lo, Cat, both over on assists. Um, I, I like D'Lo. He's had 10 or more in four of his last five. Cat, a lot of people say Cat is a risky pick today because he's eventually not going to get uh, three or I guess four, but... I'm going to keep going until it kills me because he has the ball in his hands so much during the game that it just seems likely. Um, then we also got D'Lo over two and a half threes. He shoots quite a few threes every game and he's been shooting a really high clip. If he's going to score in this game, I think he'll get it through three pointers mainly. So um, Then we got Brandon Ingram. I have him twice on this, and I'm going to be honest, I have the exact same lineup with him reversed. I have him on the under, and I have him on the over, so obviously that minimizes my profit on whichever one ends up hitting, but I have a buddy who is hard knows that he thinks that he'll have two tonight at least, but my gut tells me under, so. Then I have my first half bet. I like Giannis, Ingram, and Jaw all to go over in the first half. Ingram and Jaw usually put up a lot of their points to start off the game. They come out firing. And then Giannis is just going to be Giannis. Um, let's see. Okay. Reggie Jackson, I like him on the under again. New Orleans plays decent defense. Um, he's also not their primary ball handler anymore. Like He's not getting you a lot of assists. So I like Eric Bledsoe for that. So I would say Reggie Jackson under. It hit for me the other day. I'm going to go with it again. Desmond Bain, he had four great games in a row. Then he had the one bad one on his last one. I think Minnesota, I think he'll be able to score because Minnesota is going to try and try at least and stop uh, Jaw. So I like the over. Then we got D Low Cat and uh, oh, I like Ingram over four and a half assists as well. He's had over six in his last four or five. Um, he just. Ingram's their main ball handler. Him and Josh Hart, and I like Ingram's over. Let's see what else we got. J okay, so this one is actually my buddy's pick who wins more than me, or at least it feels like it. I'm sure it's not that way, but he loves to sh share his winners. So this is his main pick for the day. He's got Jaron Jackson over 5.5, Bobby Portis over 9.5, and then three of the same picks that we already have, including Edwards over three and a half. So apparently everybody loves the Timberwolves with assists today. What is that? Three and a half, three and a half, seven. So that's 14 assists between the three of them. I, I think that happens. As long as they don't get shut out, like demolished by Memphis, they should have it. This one's just my little side pick. Amir Coffey, I don't know what it is, but he's going to get the start today. And when this dude plays, he shoots the ball so freaking much for the Clippers. Whether he makes it or not, that's the that's the the rub. But 
he just shoots so much that I'm I I like the pick. And this is the first day that he's actually been available to pick. So um, then I like Clay over fourteen and a half. The Warriors are going to need some support from other people, especially if uh, Middleton guards Clay. I mean guards uh, Wiggins or Steph. Let's see. Oh, here's the opposite pick that I told you where it has Ingram. Um, I think this might be the yeah. This is the last one. John ja Morant over twenty four and a half. Um, I know I bet the the first half over on the other one. I like this pick a lot. Then we got Anthony again, Jaron again, Brandon Ingram again, and then the new one on this list is Patrick Beverly. He's had ten or more points in all five of his last games. He shoots the ball surprisingly. He scores. This man puts up points. He scores for his team, and he does good. So. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for the support. I want to say hopefully we can get some uh, money rolling today. Uh, it's been, we had a great start once we joined Prize Picks, and that seems to be the case for everybody when we first started out. And then it's been kind of rough sledding for the majority of people the last four or five days. Everybody hits one or two of their, their bets, and then all the others lose. There's no big uh, runs by a lot of people, so... Uh, I don't know. We're we're gonna we're gonna sit here and hope today that we can win. It today's either gonna be a big winner day or a big loser day in my opinion because we have a lot of carryover bets throughout each one. So fingers crossed that we get a big winner, and uh, if not, well, uh, things ain't gonna look so good. But I'll keep the content rolling, guys. Um, appreciate the support. On the grind for 4,200. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. And uh, I will see you all on the next video tomorrow. Have a good one. See you later.